Merced, United States, Rome, Italy, Xi'an, China. They have histories, traditions, and realities that are apparently distant, but that thanks to new technologies are getting closer and unified in the name of new academic scientific research. In fact, during the summers 2008 and 2009, UC Merced, with the Virtual Heritage Lab Group, led by Professor Maurizio Forte, and with the collaboration of Professor Li Jiajun from Tong University of Xi'an and Sofia Pescarini from the Italian National Center of Research, CNR of Rome, had the great opportunity, unique for a Western research group, to have access to archaeological Chinese sites in the Xi'an region of China. What's my opinion about Chinese-U.S. collaborations on academic matters regarding Chinese history? Um, and um, they are improving with every single decade. Um, Chinese and Americans are teaching in each other's universities. We're exchanging students. We are certainly meeting each other at conferences. Um, still, it's an interesting fact that with large continental powers, they mainly, their academic establishments, mainly only care about what they see as their own constituencies. Chinese文化和这个殷墟文化这两点的话可以说中国文化的话它不但影响了这个就是中国的这个汉民族而且影响了亚洲的啊甚至于这个这个东亚和东南亚啊对整个这个多民族的文化区域啊对生活和他们的
that occurs thanks above all to the interaction offered by new technologies like 3D reconstruction and by new collaborative environments such as Powerwall, Second Life, and Metaversity. Three, the formation of new interesting storytelling with goals that can be educational and communicative without forgetting the touristic economic impact that a transformation such as this presupposes. What's so important about having a Western Han Museum or a virtual museum of Western Han, especially Chang'an, um, would be this. Partly because of Western stereotypes, partly because of self-orientalizing tropes within China, there has come to be a prevailing assumption that China has no history, that it's a super stable structure that underwent very few developments over time. According to these points, we can certainly say that the results of this project campaign were excellent. Important goals have already been attained. First of all, to protect a very rich cultural heritage under great risk of extinction because of the uncontrollable social and economic development of the Asian giant China. Secondly, the important academic collaboration that already created very important articles, publications, and meetings about the Western Han Dynasty. And finally, the creation of new opportunities for archaeology and virtual archaeology. Because of the importance of the material collected and cataloged, some exhibitions are already scheduled, and there are advanced negotiations for the creation of a virtual museum of Western Han Dynasty, with the possibility of itinerant exhibitions designed to promote and emphasize this culture by creating interaction with others.